You know the magnetic ink that everybody is supposed to put in their brain and then they scan it and with the CAT scan and then it flushes out through your bladder? Well, I noticed when I got the modern stuff at the hospital a few years ago because my brain was all messed up, um, I didn't urinate any of it out, but that's fine because I did the research before getting the procedure and... It's actually good for you if you're an athletic person. So I still got all that in there, up in my brains. So what I was thinking was he should use in the Morbius plot whatever point when he's got to recondense later in whatever movie, like the that magnetic ink to like stabilize his form and like it, it's containing him, and he's all like then like colorful more man, you know? Yeah, because he he morphed out, and uh, you know he fucking floats up into a cat gla- a gas cloud that's all super big, and yeah. then dissipates because they all kick the shit out of him too many times. Yeah, because they all pose stupidly in different ways. The Power Rangers after beating him up, you know? Well, yeah, but we we talked about that. Yeah, that's... I know. I was just saying. He, you know, he all gasses his ass, yeah. and then he, like, condenses painfully and manages, because he's a, he's a super smart morb scientist, to uh, get that magnetic ink, and then he uses it with the CAT scan machine to condense his yeah. form while screaming as he, you know, he gets all morby beyond belief, you know? Yeah. He turns into, like, bat morb and, like, temporarily grows wings, you know what I mean? So out then his, his form is, his, yeah. Out of his, yeah. Uh, out of his muscle tendons that peel off his yeah. bones, he grows, you know, visceral wings, you know, in the CAT scan for a second, then yep. they go back into his morb form to be used later you know yeah I mean? for for you know high energy moments when he's yes. real passionate doing things yes sex and violence you know yes <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah think about that that's so cool all those colors like r- rocketing with his morb particles through a cat scan you know being magnetically affected and you can see the magnetic shape of the field as he's pulled around and he, like, uses all the energy to condense back into, you know, Morb Man 3.0. Yeah. It's good stuff. There needs to be a fight scene at the uh, Fujifilm plant that produces, you know, Fujifilm film as they uh, fight in the actual Fujifilm plant at, at the uh, end of, uh, you know, the Morbius movie. Yeah. This is, you know, some part of it, you know, or in the middle, whatever, who gives a shit. And the point is that why I'm saying that is that Fujifilm has incredibly high ISO film. It has a uh, color, uh, it's supposedly discontinued, but I'm sure they could get it remanufactured uh, because everybody always just says they can. So I, I doubt whether or not people even have a problem manufacturing it in the first place or else they're just lying to consumers like me because they don't want me to have it. Anyways, um... Kodak, Fujifilm, any of that shit is is uh, really cool. Twenty by the time twenty twelve rolled around, Kodak has uh, some really great high ISO, so you could use that if you wanted to. But I just really think that Morbius needs to be on film. It has to be a film movie. It has to be. It's a. This is a classic. Yeah. It needs film. It it's it's. It can't be done any other way. And let me tell you, Fujifilm is the film to do it on. Because it has the color that you need, and it has the, um, like, high ISO color. Like, I believe that the the highest ISO is 3,200, and that's in color, without any needing to switch it from color negatives or anything. You're becoming boring, but I gotta point out that Morbius, um, is like, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, uh... The Power Rangers aspect has so heavily, like, they need their own movie series. Like, this is the main, more movie series where Power Rangers are defeating him. It's the big sauce. Whereas then they have their individual color Power Ranger movie plot. Like, each character, if they wanted to have his own movie backstory or whatever. Because it ties in with other stuff. But, yeah. The point here of why I'm saying this is... If these uh, high ISO films are quick exposure films to where um, th- there isn't the correct shutter speed, I don't give a fuck. You can do that digitally. That's the whole point of them having magnetic ink in them. Fujifilm does it too in between the grains. Why are people not acknowledging this? It's the simplest thing ever. Come on. You uh, scan the data. 
with magnets, not with lasers. You read it magnetically. Yeah, so then if you promote the film by making the movie on that film and have the scene at the factory where he's upgrading with the film technology, his move juice, all that really seems to come together, you know? Yeah, and it's a lot more interesting than the color science of Sony cameras, which is basically just cobalt blue, black, and gray. Yeah, I don't even care. You could go into, you know, the new film part of the movie where it's film versus digital at the point where he upgrades like each movie you can use the excuse that you're using the upgrades that film have gone through as he gets healthier and can handle making bigger budget movies it all comes together so then you uh, step up to that next you know film version feeling digital in the film whatever point so then it's like he's hitting the real moob juice my point here is that at 30 frames a second um, would probably work no matter what for the higher ISO film. So just don't be a bitch and stroke out. Come on now. Do yoga. Don't be a fag. Okay, so, uh, you know, that guy from Chronicles of Narnia um, who was in the boat movie one, I guess... He's the scientist from some comic book line, I guess, who is in the Marvel Universe because we need a smarty pants who involves with color science to turn the Power Stones into the Power Rangers and have it like the imbued personality of the stones into different people. So, like... He would find a way to, like... It's sort of like a Green Lantern feeling thing, isn't it? That's my concept. Not at all, but, like, you know... The he the people who embody the colors the most, the energy of personality... They're the ones who are assigned the energy to be the Power Rangers. That just makes sense to me. And then that comes in with their backstories... And then the larger, you know, Morbius tie-in. Yeah, and why it's so hilarious is because it's so vague that it's just they get super energy suddenly as they're just Power Rangers. Yeah. Because that's I, how, how direct Power Rangers is. It's just dumb. They just are Power Rangers. Well, yeah, they could just be different people in different interesting ways, living different lives. I don't even care. They could be like humanoid aliens, some of them. I don't even care. They could all be from Earth. I don't know different versions of Earth. You could do the cliche things like, you know, Fireman or something, like, or Sexy Fire Woman. That'd be fun. Not actual flames, just, you know, well, whatever, yeah. Just, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. Whatever.